Okay, bit of a hot topic. Yeah. Weight transfer. Right. Ooh. Yeah, big one. We see that there are so many back foot bandits out there hanging back on that trail foot, lower back starts to hurt, topping, fatting, slicing. Everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah, great. What's your, uh, what's your top drill for weight transfer? I think it's um, a, a, ni a nice one for it is just, if you use just different sports as example, let's say throwing a ball, mm -hmm. you know, you're not, you're not going to stay back and throw a ball or, 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 or any ball. You're going to go, you're going to go forward. The same in the tennis shot. You're not going to play, yeah. you know, kind of like a, ba if you want to drive into it, you need to get to that front foot. Mm -hmm. So the, so the whole feeling of kind of like right foot, left foot, and just having that, that feel underneath of what does it feel like underneath that right foot when I make a backswing mm -hmm. versus when I'm on my way down and transferring that weight to the leading foot. Sure. A nice way for that is if I take a golf club yeah. and just imagine this, okay? Imagine you had like a very heavy chain, yeah. like a meter long chain mm -hmm. attached to the bottom side of this golf club. Okay. If, if I need to make kind of like S formations yeah. with this club, with that chain on, it's obviously too heavy for me to really do it with only my arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I take my right foot and my left foot and I kind of like pull into the right, push into the left, that now all of a sudden it, it kind of makes these S formations, but I'm using that, that load into the right, then to the left. So you kind of like feel like we just make those S formations. Mm. And you can make those S formations in front of you and I'll, I'll lift my feet up for this one to, to really like show it. If I go right foot, left foot right foot, left foot. In a goal swing, it's going to go low to that right side and mm. then obviously transfer it into the ball. So that's just a nice visual. And I usually get people to maybe take a few shots that way, just go like right foot, left foot, and just, just kind of like punch that ball to get that sense of, hey, this is what I want to feel versus right. that's what I want to feel. Yeah. And I think uh, there's a term out there called swing the weight of the club head, right? And that could be perceived as you stand here and you move the club head back and forth. Correct. That is essentially making a process or mechanical movement to Correct. move the yeah, club 100%. head. Now, at the end of the day, the club head is moving at an effect to the rest of the body as yeah. such. So if we are going to create some effortless momentum of this golf club in space, well, a shift of pressure will always precede a shift of rotation and movement. It's right. like using your throwing analogy, you've got the ball in your hand, you would step back before you then pivot and there would be a degree or a movement of lateral shift off, the, off away from our original starting point right. to then put you in a position where you go forward. So right. exactly what you said, it's a, it's a shift, right? A rotation, then that moves, let's say in this case, the club head back and behind us and then it's the opposite on the way down. So the same feel, we get the same of the shift That's and then brilliant. the movement, which then propels the golf club into Great. the golf ball, right? Great. Yeah. Well, so yeah. we start off, I really like that drill and exercise. Do you get a lot of beginners doing this one here? So yeah. heel, and I would say just lifting up the, the heel is probably a good one. That's right? the easiest one to feel really. Yeah. But yeah, if you can then visualize that S formations in front of you with that right foot, left foot, just get that understanding of, hey, a lot of people do this barefoot, all right? Yeah, you don't need yeah. to get it, do it right now. But yeah. you, if you do it, if you if you do it in socks or something like that, especially on a carpet, you can feel exactly like what is underneath that right foot. So that right foot, left foot, right foot, left. It's just a great feel and understanding of what you want to feel. Yeah. Getting into that right side, getting the power build up, kind of like loading the gun mm. before you then before we then shoot that and getting to the left side. Yeah, do, and then let's say, is there an evolution of this drill where you'd start with those little movements where you're lifting up the heel and then you'd actually do more of like a step and then a swing? Do you ever do that? Look, there's, there's loads of different drills out there for that, but what I usually do is I, I get them to rehearse it, mm -hmm. then feel it. Yeah. So what I would do is I, I'll actually ask them to maybe pick up their feet and be yeah. like, go like, like really feel like right foot, left foot, hold it. Okay. But like really feel kind of like a Carl Berkshire, you know, when you go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. Just to get that, that feel underneath his feet. So go right foot, pick up the left, plant it, and, and then swing through. through. And just to feel how you put that pressure into that, into that leading foot. How we're moving it. So why don't I just do a few of those small ones like this. And you can see that the club, and I would advise that players at home, they do focus on this element here of where that club is continually striking the ground over Correct. and over. Because there isn't any really point of doing this if there's no intention, no. imagining if there was a ball Correct. there, right? So 
right foot, left foot. And I do like the little stomps of the feet as well because it makes you just focus very much so on the lifting up. Yeah. And you would see a lot of players out there on the range occasionally doing a little step drill like that Correct. as well. Putting, putting a, a few golf balls in is like stepping and striking and doing that. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now when we are then implementing this into the full swing, it doesn't mean that you need to really focus on yeah. shifting your pressure when you're out on the golf course, right? We always do this in a practice setting, rehearsing it over and over, and then we implement into the swing through a subconscious manner. Right? What I'm saying, it's more about just creating awareness, creating yeah. that feel. Yeah. When you're on the golf course and you're hitting your shots, you're not gonna do that, right? Yeah. But it yeah. then just making sure that, hey, what I did feel when I was doing it yeah. is what I'm feeling now when I'm getting to that good pivoting position at the top. Which then matched up, yeah, perfect. perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do a few more of those, and then I'm gonna hit one, and then we're gonna see how the weight transfer then affects and moves into the full swing. Off we go. Yeah, cool. So even just from doing those little drills before I did that mono, I feel actually more forward yeah. in space outside my lead foot, which is where all the pros would finish, shifting their pelvis forward, extending their upper body. Mate, sensational stuff. Well done. Good.